This is a 13 inch e-paper calendar powered by a Raspberry Pi. It's a low power device that brings your digital calendars to life on a crisp paper-like display. It's fully customizable and works with popular calendar services like Google, Outlook, Apple, and more. This project also comes with a web UI so you can update the display from your browser or set it to refresh on a schedule. If you're new here, this is part of a series where I build new plugins and features for my open source project. In this video, I'll walk you through the design process of building the calendar plugin and how you can build it yourself. This project uses the inky impression displays from Pimeroni, which are available in 13.3 inch and 7.3 inch sizes, along with a Raspberry Pi 02W and an IKEA picture frame. These are the latest 2025 displays featuring the new Spectra 6 e-ink technology offering faster refresh times of 12 seconds and more vibrant colors. You can check out my previous video for a full tutorial on the hardware and software setup for the inky displays. I'm also happy to announce that Waveshare e-paper displays are now supported with this project. Here I have the 7.3 inch full color display with Spectra 6 technology and the 7.5 inch black and white display. Waveshare models require an e-paper driver hat to connect the display to your Raspberry Pi. You'll need to insert the Raspberry Pi GPIO headers into the driver board, then attach the ribbon cable to the pin board. The rest of the setup is nearly identical, but the installation script requires an argument to specify the model for your Waveshare display. The black and white display provides a more affordable option and a fast refresh rate of 4 seconds at the expense of color. All of the displays featured in this video are linked in the description below, and you can head over to the GitHub repo for more details and a full list of supported models. And a special thanks to Heisenberg on GitHub for adding Waveshare support. Let's just say he cooked. With the display setup out of the way, let's dive into building the calendar plugin. To get started, we need a way to pull our calendar events, and for this, I'm using iCalendar URLs, which are links that provide access to calendar data in a standardized format called iCal or ICS. This lets me seamlessly pull calendar data from different services like Google Calendar, Microsoft Outlook, Apple Calendar, and others. To test this, I created a new Google Calendar and added some sample events. Here, we can go to the settings page and locate the iCalendar URL. When I load this URL in the browser, we get an ICS file where we can see our event data in a structured text format. Using this URL, I can programmatically pull this file, parse the text using some Python libraries, and end up with a list of my calendar events. Once we pull the data, we need a way to visualize the calendar and generate an image to display. For this, I'm using Full Calendar, which is a popular JavaScript library that makes it easy to render calendars and supports different layouts and customization options. To see it in action, I created a sample HTML file and defined a calendar object using the full calendar library, giving it the list of my events. When I load the HTML file, this is the resulting calendar. The calendar automatically resizes, making it easy to generate images for different e-paper resolutions. We can also change the view parameter to display our events in a weekly agenda format or as a simple list. Using this HTML file, I can render the calendar with Chromium in headless mode, capture a screenshot, and display it on the e-ink screen. If you're interested in the details, check out my weather dashboard video where I go over the full implementation. Putting all this together, I created a new plugin in the project and added inputs in the UI for the ICS URL and for the layouts. I can test it with my sample calendar from earlier, choose the layouts, and this is the resulting image. With the basic calendar working, I wanted to support adding multiple calendars and assigning different colors to each. This makes it easy to visualize your work, personal, family, or holiday calendars all in one place. Next, I worked on adding more customization options. I reached out for feedback on my Discord server and on GitHub and implemented some suggestions from the community. For my international audience, I added the ability to change the language and set the start day of the week. 
I also made it possible to toggle different elements like the title, weekends, or event times, and set the time interval, which is especially helpful on smaller displays with limited resolution. And finally, you can customize the colors or upload a background image to create a theme that fits your style. The end result is a fully customizable calendar that adapts to different layouts, screen sizes, and visual styles. The e-paper display provides a natural paper-like feel that makes it easy to glance at and helps me stay organized and focused throughout the day. For those of you with long busy days, you can also display the calendar horizontally. It also looks great on the smaller 7.3 inch display, a bit compact but still easy to read. And for reference, this is how it looks on the black and white display. That's pretty much it for this video. If you found this useful, consider subscribing and leaving a like to help with the algorithm. If you have any feedback or suggestions for plugins, feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.